Welcome, welcome everybody. How are you doing today? It's so very nice to have you here. And today I wanted to speak a little bit about our upcoming program, Trust and Surrender for Living in a World and for Awakening. A program that begins on October 29th and it is another three week program. So, trust and surrender. You know, on the one hand, we know already, and I have spoken about this before, trust and surrender are just two of the most important qualities that are necessary for awakening. Not just necessary, but they are so important. You know, they are so important for awakening, right? You know, the moment of full trust is followed by awakening. And surrender, which so often is also misunderstood, misinterpreted. Surrender, which means our ability to actually come to rest in presence, is the very important step on the way to full trust. And so these qualities not only are important for awakening, but they also are important moment by moment by moment before, during and after awakening for living in the world. And today's world can be challenging. You know, we just went through years of the challenge with COVID and now everybody has recovered a little more, but there's always some challenges going on in the world. You know, it seems like that never stops, right? That's the nature of the world. And so living in a world requires a lot of ability to be here. And to be here, that connects, that really is connected with our ability to trust and with our ability to surrender. You know, and again, trust feels so fundamental, right? So, so it, it seems like it would be so simple and so easy. But so much of the time we have moved away from the ability to trust what we know is true. We have moved away from the ability to trust what we really know in a moment. That's what I mean by what we know is true. We have moved away from the ability to discriminate between what we know and what is acquired or what is conditioned or what is conditioning. So when I say trust, you know, it sounds so simple, but it's also not easy because of our reliance on the past. And there's also that element, you know, and I often spoke about this before, you know, in the process that leads to awakening. There's that element of trust, which also is the human element of trust, which means whatever is the experience we have had previously regarding trust, how much we have been able to trust and then not be able to trust or the different events that affected our ability to trust, that is also going to come up in this process that leads to awakening. And that's either we are going to be able to move through that, to move past that, to really begin to trust that bigger space within, begin to trust that beingness, that spaciousness of our true nature and the movement that arises from that. Or it's going to be really challenging for us, right? Because our human past experience of trust you know, can keep us away from being able to fully trust and fully surrender. You know, that's, that's why trust and surrender are so important. And it is challenging to want to speak about trust and surrender without actually having an experience of that. You know, and again, so much of the time, we, of course, understand what trust is. Maybe a little more challenging with surrender. You know, we can talk some other time more about that. 
but we sure understand what trust is. You know, however, if we have not been able to experience that, or if we haven't experienced that enough, you see, we just don't have that resource to draw on. And that's why so much of the time, you know, we not only sit with the with our ability to rest or with the spaciousness of our true nature, but we are also sitting with the nervous system and brain and with addressing of the unmet, unfinished past. You know, and why is that? Because on the one hand, we might know about trust. We might believe that trust is necessary. We might think, we yes, we trust. And then when it comes to our actual experience, and when it comes to the resources we have internally to find that experience of trust, it's not always so easy because of our past. You know, I have seen this over and over and over again within myself and with many of my students that when we begin to address that more, when we begin to actually sit with, the, with what the experience of trust has been so far or the inability to trust or the inability to simply trust what is, right? You know, that something very powerful happens, you know? Very, very powerful because the moment we begin to trust what is, we begin to trust our true nature. We begin to trust the spaciousness that is here. We begin to trust life. We begin to be able to move in life in a different way. And of course, that trust and that movement that comes from trust and that moment of full trust that is followed by awakening. So I'm looking forward to our program. We'll be speaking about this. We'll be speaking, of course, more about other things as well. And I believe that if you are new to us, you can come for free the first week. There is also a special price for you if you are the first time attending. We have some other... Uh, discounts for college students and people in military service. You can look it up on our website. And most of all, I just want to invite you to come and sit with us and experience moments of rest and presence and also experience more fully, you know, more in an embodied way what trust really is. I am very much looking forward to our time together.